Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then i have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and i can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general and also go pick up my brand new girls night card game it's officially out so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls' night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we're going to jump right into this video. And this video is titled, These are five things that you should never do in the talking stage. Right, ladies? So these are five rules that you need to follow when you are talking or just dating a guy, you know, in the beginning stages, you know, so basically the talking stage or the dating stage is the stage where, you know, when you just met, you're getting to know each other, you know, you're developing a bond, a friendship, you know, stuff like that. And it's before the girlfriend boyfriend stage, right? Y'all ain't made it to the boyfriend girlfriend stage. It's still kind of early, still kind of fresh, still kind of new, right? So in the beginning, it's some things that a lot of women are doing that they should not do. It's a lot of mistakes that women are making when it comes to the dating or talking stage. You know, it's some specific things that you need to do when you are dating or just talking to a guy. Because sometimes y'all women, you be coming on too strong, you be doing too much, you know? And it has to be a certain type of balance that you need to provide when it comes to dating and talking to a guy, you know? And it's a lot of mistakes, like I said, that women make. So in this video, I'ma clear up all the mistakes. I'ma teach you what not to do in the talking stage and what you should be doing in the talking stage, okay? So we gonna jump right to this video, we going to number one. So number one, the first thing that you should never do in the talking or dating stage when it comes to dating a guy is never assume that he is your man. So never assume that this man is your man because a lot of times, women you know you end up catching feelings for this guy you know you really like him you think he's so handsome he's so fine blah 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 all that right you just think that he's just this amazing guy he got all this money he got a nice car he tall he dark he handsome all that right okay in a bag of chips okay so you should not 
automatically just assume that this man is your man over time. I know that you spending a lot of time with him. I know that you kicking it with him. I know y'all probably even having sex with each other by now. You know, y'all probably just, you know, already had sex by now, whatever. You know, we all grown, whatever, right? You know, maybe within like the first few months, y'all had sex, whatever, right? So, you know, after all that, after you have sex with this guy, y'all kick it, y'all have fun. You know, he telling you that he really enjoy being around you. He making you laugh. You really enjoying his company, you know, y'all going on dates, it's getting real romantic, it's getting real hot and heavy, you know, you get real excited over this guy, and a lot of times you get too excited over this man, and this man, he don't even look at you the way you look at him, that's the problem. You looking at this man like, I really like him. He just amazing, blah, blah, blah. He looking at you like, hey, you know, she just something to do right now. She's just the meantime girl, the placeholder, the right now girl, whatever. She just somebody I could just kick it with for right now, have sex with right now, you know, until I get the girl I really want. Or she just whatever option She's just one of the options for me. You don't know if he dating other women. He probably is dating other women. He's probably dating, you know, Brittany and Keisha and Sarah and Jasmine and Lauren. He dating all these women, right? Kayla, Michelle, he dating everybody, right? And you need to learn that you should not automatically assume that he is your man. You should not just feel like, oh, he my man, oh, we together. Because guess what? He ain't claimed you yet. He ain't made things official yet. He ain't made you his girlfriend. He ain't made you his fiance. He ain't made you his wife. You ain't nothing. You just in the talking stage. You ain't got no title. This man told you, you know, I don't believe in titles. I don't believe and, you know, making things official. I don't want commitment right now. I'm not ready for a relationship right now. I'm not looking for nothing serious right now. I'm just focused on, you know, what I'm doing right now. I'm real busy. I don't have time for a relationship. Even though he doing everything that consists of a relationship with you. He kicking it with you, having sex with you, going on dates, buying you stuff doing everything like he is your boyfriend, but he ain't giving you no title, you know? And you might not never get the title. A lot of times you never get the title of the girlfriend. It always stay in this situationship or, you know, the dating stage, the talking stage. We just talking, we just talking. You do not want it to just be talking. You want it to progress, but you want to make sure that this man is on the same accord with you. You want to make sure that what he wants is the same as what you want. You know what I'm saying? And don't just assume that he is your man. Don't just assume that, oh, he like me and he want me and he want to be with me. And I'm the only woman that he's talking to. He ain't talking to no other women. He only talking to me. Don't believe that. You know, he ain't talking to nobody else. He only talking to me. You know, or he would not leave me if a better option came along. Because a lot of times, if you just the situationship type of girl, the, the we just dating, we just talking, you know, and that type of situationship, and you ain't made it to the girlfriend part, you never know. He might just keep his options open and find something else because that's, that's what he's doing a lot of times. So don't be getting so overly excited because you never know how it's going to go. Y'all just talking, right? Y'all just dating. Y'all just getting to know each other. It's nothing set in stone. It's nothing that is, I know that you really like him and you really excited and you just feel like he's just the one, but you don't know that yet. You don't know how he really feel. So you got to give it some time. Don't get so overly desperate, overly excited, thirsty, and just do too much chasing this man and he ain't even your man. You know what I'm saying? You doing too much chasing him, trying to make him happy and all he doing is just taking everything from you. You know what I'm saying? And he don't even deserve it. 
or he ain't even made things official with you. You don't even know if he even like you like that. He might not even like you like that. He might not even really be feeling you like that. He might not. Just because a man spend time with you and have sex with you and maybe even take you out, maybe even spend a little, little money on you. Sometimes that don't always mean that you the one per se. He just paying to get what he want. He said, hey. You know, I know this girl probably going to require me to take her out or do whatever or spend some money, whatever, to get the booty. So, I'm going to just get the booty, whatever. That don't mean I want to be with you forever. That don't mean I want to put a ring on your finger just because I'm having sex with you and taking you out. That don't mean nothing. A lot of guys, they just use you temporarily for the moment. They just using you just for right now. And you never get to the next level. So, just when you're in the talking stage... Just don't take it too serious. It's too many of y'all women, you take the talking stage or the dating stage too serious. You start to automatically think, this my man, this my man. He mine, he mine, and he not yours. Because guess what? If you catch this man with another woman, the first thing going to come out his mouth is what? But we ain't together, so what you getting mad for? You see me with this other girl, but we not even together. I'm not cheating on you. How I'm cheating on you and we not together. How I'm cheating on you, we only have no title. How I'm cheating on you and we not even together. I, I, we not together. You not my woman. We just kicking it. We just dating. We just talking, right? We just talk. And your feelings going to be hurt. Your feelings going to be real hurt. A lot of you women been through this before. You know exactly what I'm talking about. When you was in a situation ship with a guy and you start to really believe and really think, oh, he my man. Basically, like we basically we spend time together. He spend the night at your house. You spend the night at his house. You done met his people. He done met your people. You know, you feel like this is your guy. But even though, you know, he's spending money on you, taking you out, having sex with you, he could be doing all that. But you still ain't got no title. You still ain't got nothing to show for it. You still ain't got nothing. So until you get a title, you know, don't be overly excited, right? Don't be overly you know, just too happy to be with him, right? Just chill, you know, just peep him out, see what's up, see if he is compatible, right? Compatible, that's the word. You need to see if he's compatible with you. See if he's compatible with, not just with you, with your lifestyle, right? Do y'all schedules align? Do y'all morals and values and wants and beliefs and dreams and goals align together? Are y'all on the same page? Do he want what you want in life? You know, do y'all get along? How about that? Do y'all even get along? I don't care how much money he got. I don't care how handsome he is. I don't care what type of car he drive. I don't care how tall he is. I don't care about none of that. How does this man treat you? And does his morals and values and what he wants align with yours and does he want to be with you, period? Does he even really want you? So only time will tell, right? But until, you know, that time, which is really usually about three to six months, you know, usually it would take a man, I would say about three to six months to make a move, right? And six months is really too long. So it's, it's usually the six month rule that I say it's the six month rule. If a man ain't made you his girlfriend yet by six months, you need to get up out of there. But six months is still too long. Really about three, really about three to four months, this man should have already made a move by now by say like, hey, you my hey, you my girlfriend, I'm your boyfriend, we together, will you be my girl? You know, I want to be with you. You know, I, I feel like we got a good connection, you know, because by then, by about three months, he know he got some time to get to know you. He got some time to kick it with you. Got a chance to see what's up. He got his free trial, right? You know how Amazon Prime give you a free trial. You know how, you know, Netflix will give you a free trial. You know how any subscription service give you a free trial and then you got to buy whatever it is, right? Or you go to a car dealership and you test drive the car but are you going to buy the car? You know, you test drove the car. You know what I'm saying? 
or you know you did what you had to do to see if you liked it so if you like it and you want it then go get it so if a man really ain't made you his girlfriend by about three to four months because let's be real in the beginning he already know if he want to make you you know just a friends with benefits or if he want to potentially make you a girlfriend fiance wife category right when he first laid eyes on you he already knew okay she kind of you know let me see what's up you know but after he got a chance to know you he knew okay this is where i want to place her she is wife material i want to make her my wife one day or she got potential to you know see if i want to progress in that way or nah i just want to keep her over here just have sex with her get whatever i can out of her and dump her as soon as i get a better opportunity right so you just got to make sure that the man that you choose is aligned and he wants the same thing that you want. You know, you know, you never want to do too much or get too excited because when you get too excited and you start believing that this man is your man and reality hits you and he show you that he is not your man, he going to show you, you know, when you ask this man, what are we, what are we, what are we? And this man say, hey, you know, we just kicking it. We just friends. I don't want no commitment. I'm not ready for a relationship. Then you need to leave him alone, right? Just leave him alone. If you know that you want something serious and you know that you want a husband one day and you know you want a family one day and stuff like that, then you need to leave him alone if he tell you I'm not ready for a relationship and stuff like that so if a man don't make you his girlfriend by about three to four months and six months max that's too long but after six months it ain't happening i'm gonna tell you that right now if you if this man has been dating you for six months and you still ain't the girlfriend you really need to hang it up but after about three months four months he should be making a move because the first three months he kind of already got a good time, a good chance to get to know you to see if he want to progress things. After that, he just wasting your time, really. When they get to about five to six months then of dating or talking and y'all not boyfriend, girlfriend, you need to get up out of there. You know, because about, about three months or four months, that should be enough time for him to make a move to make you his girlfriend to make you his girlfriend, right? So number two, the second thing, the second thing that you should not do in the dating in the dating stage or the talking stage when it comes to talking or dating a man is do not treat him like a boyfriend or a husband because he's not your man again. So don't treat him. Number two is don't treat him like a boyfriend or a husband number one was just don't assume that he your man like don't get overly excited just chill right just fill him out see if he real or not and if he wants you or not if he make a move or not if he don't make a move you gotta put that pressure on him and say hey if you don't be with me you gotta give him that ultimatum right you gotta give a man an ultimatum if you don't be with me hey it's, it's been three four months five months hey Hey, it's time to make a move or else I'm about to leave out your life forever. So either I'm your woman and you my man and we together, we're, we're together, or I'm going to be done with you, you know? So, so, you know, you deal with it like that, right? So don't assume that he your man. Now, number two is don't treat this man like he your man, right? So don't be cooking for this man if you just met this man. I'm going I'm to I'm break it down for you ladies, right? We're going to break it all the way down. I'm going to call y'all out right now. I'm going to call some of y'all out right now, okay? If it's been the first, if it's been the first, you know, one, two, three, four months, you know, and y'all just talking, y'all just dating, whatever, right? Y'all just in that, you know, situationship, dating, whatever, right? Okay. These are some things you should not be doing for this man because he not your man, Okay. Cooking for a man. If this man is not your man, and this man is not your boyfriend, and this man has not put a title on you, and this man has not officially committed himself to you verbally and 
and physically, you know, shown you that I am only with you. We together. I only want you. You my woman. You my girlfriend. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your man. If he has not said that, if he has not said that, then do not be cooking for this man. He do not deserve no hot meals. Don't be cooking your best meals, whipping up in the kitchen, trying to impress this man, and this man ain't even made you his woman. He not even your man, and you already cooking for him? So then you tell me what's going to happen if he do get with you. He already got the cooking. What, what's going to be different if he do get with you? What's going to be different? Nothing. I'm already getting the benefits up front already so why would i be with a woman and i'm getting everything already without being with her if she gonna give me all the benefits and i ain't gotta put in no effort or i ain't gotta put no title on her why would i be with her right if you're not gonna cut my lights off and i know i ain't gotta pay my light bill a lot of people ain't gonna pay their light bill because they're like hey you ain't gonna cut it off so if it's gonna keep running then why would I pay? You know what I'm saying? If you're going to keep running, but guess what? The second they cut your lights off, I bet you you get to put, trying to call them and, and pay that money to get your lights back on, right? So so a lot of times when it comes to a man, you do not want to be cooking for him. Don't be cooking for no man early in the beginning because then when you get with, because then guess what? This man going to be like, hmm, I'm already getting hot, fresh meals from her already and we just met we just met it's the first few weeks first few months we just met she already cooking for me consistently meal prepping for me you know or she buying me food you know she door dashing food to my you know to my job she door dashing food to my house she uber eats in food to me she uber eats in food to my job you know stuff like that and this man gonna be like, oh, I'm getting all these benefits. This woman keeping me fed. Why would I be with her? What's gonna be different if I get with her than now? It's the same thing. So why would I be with her? And I can still do what I wanna do, right? So don't be cooking for no man if he not your man, okay? And another one is don't be cleaning for this man. A lot of you women, I'm finna call you out right now. Y'all will get to a man's house and you feel like, oh, his apartment or his house is junky, right? You just met this man. You say, oh, I want to impress him. I want to show him all my wifely qualities. Eh, wrong. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. He didn't deserve those wifely qualities because he not, because you're not a wife, you know, or you're not a girlfriend even at least. At least be a girlfriend before you start giving girlfriend privileges right aka cleaning so don't be going over a man house you know um folding his laundry or you know making his bed cleaning up picking up stuff you know stuff like that he not even your man you know he not even yours he ain't claimed you he ain't did nothing for you you just met him so he just gonna use you for a maid because he ain't even did nothing he probably Barely even invested anything. Barely took you out. Barely he took you out on two dates, and he already getting maid services. You know what I'm saying? He already getting home cooked meals, chef services, and then you know, of course, you know, you probably even having sex with this man. You know, too early. A lot of y'all women, you having sex with a man too early. You giving the booty away for free, and you empty handy. A lot of y'all women, you just handing the booty over, giving boot, giving booty away for free. Here goes some booty. You want some booty? Here goes some booty. You want some booty? Here you go. You can have it. Here you go. And this man just keep taking it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's all he classify you as is a booty call. A lot of y'all women, you ask, why does man only look at me as like a sex object? Why does man only want me for sex? First of all, men... That's just how men are. Men just want sex, period. You know what I'm saying? But secondly, but secondly, it's because you've been giving him the booty over and over again. If you've been handing this booty over, if you've been handing the booty over, over and over again, he gonna feel like, oh, that's all I want her for. That's all I need. If I get the booty for free, I barely took her out or I didn't even have to take her out. A lot of times this man didn't even took you out nowhere. He just said, come over my house or let me come over your house. And he had sex with you on the first night. 
And then that was it. And then you try to call this man, and guess what? He don't answer. You try to text this man, he don't respond. Because he said, I already got the booty up front. I did not have to invest into it. I ain't have to really spend no money. And even if he do take you out, I don't even care if he do spend money or he do take you out, he still ain't made you his girlfriend. So if he ain't made you his girlfriend yet, you know what I'm saying? Or if it's too early, especially too early, you know, especially too early, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, I know, you know, you probably may or may not. I know we all grown. So, you know, let's be realistic, right? Let's let's be realistic, okay? You may probably have sex with him before he make you his girlfriend, right? That's fair. I get it, right? Okay, maybe, okay? Let's be real. Maybe you are, maybe you do, or whatever. But at least give it some time. If you are going to give him the booty, at least let him invest into you. At least let him take you out. First, a couple times, let him, you know, invest into you, talk to you on the phone, be consistent. At least let him show up and prove and do for you before you just, before you just give him some booty or, you know, you do anything like that, you know? And then when you do, you know, have sex with him or whatever, don't be doing it all the time. You know, I know you might slip up, you know, y'all done had, y'all done hung out a couple times, you know, y'all maybe they had some drinks, y'all probably hang, hung out and, you know, y'all probably hung out, had fun, whatever, you feeling him, he feeling you, you know, and it probably might happen, but don't let it happen all the time because he might just classify you as a booty call. If he know he can just call you anytime and you can just come over and always get the booty, then he'll never take you out no more. So you can't just give him the, even when you do give him the booty, and even if you do, you know, slip up, you give him the booty in the first, you know, couple months or whatever, you know, try not to try to, you know, let him invest into you first, but at least don't be giving it to him all the time, you know, at least let more times than other, let him take you out or do something outside of sex majority of the time, you know, let, let y'all have fun outside of having sex let y'all go outside and do something and him spend some money on you outside of every time y'all hang out it gotta be sex you know because a lot of times you get to that that repetitive cycle where every time y'all hang out you always gotta have sex every time y'all kick it you always gotta have sex and you know y'all want to be able to go out and do stuff without it always having to be about sex right so don't be giving a man your booty all the time. Don't be cooking and cleaning. And for sure, this for sure, because a lot of y'all women, y'all tripping. I'm going to call y'all out right now. Y'all really tripping. Y'all really tripping. Y'all spending all y'all money. I, 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 I'm so disappointed in a lot of y'all women. I'm so disappointed. Y'all spending all y'all money, all y'all hard-earned money on this man. He ain't spending a dime on you. You letting this man ride around in your car, he ain't got no car. You let a man stay with you because he ain't got his own place. You let a man, you know, use you for your money. You paying for everything. He don't pay for nothing. He don't do nothing for you. He don't take you out. He don't do nothing. Or you do way more than what he do, right? Maybe he did take you out a couple times. He did pay for a few things, whatever. But you paid for way more. You doing way more. You giving this man money. You spending money. You paying for stuff. You you just handing him money. You know, go get a haircut. Here goes some money. Go get them new shoes. Here goes some money. Go get that new video game. Here goes some money. Go get some new AirPods. Here goes some money. Go get a new laptop, a new MacBook. Here goes some money. Go get this. Here goes some money. You hungry? Here goes some money. You want anything? Here goes some money. You know, you just handing out money. Keep your money to yourself. Stop spending your money, especially who's supposed to be taking who out? Who's supposed to be chasing who? Who is the prize? You as a woman, you the prize. He's supposed to be taking you out. So don't you ever spend no money on him. Don't you ever date no man that go 50-50. Or don't ever date no man, especially, especially the first date. He should always pay the first date. I better not catch y'all dating a man on the first date and, you know, you pay for the date or you go half on the date. No, nah, he took you out. He asked you out on a date. So he need to pay every time, especially in the beginning. He need to pay every time. 
Now, when y'all become boyfriend, girlfriend, and you want to cover the tip or something, let's say y'all go to a restaurant, he pay for the, you know, the meal, you pay for the tip. You know, you throw some dollars on the table, pay for the tip, whatever, you know, or y'all go to the movies, he pay for the movie tickets, y'all, you know, maybe you pay for the snacks, right? You know, if y'all together, you know, that's cool, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you want to do that here and there, you know, kind of pitch in here and there, he your man, then it's whatever, you know, I get it, he your man, you know? But if he not your man, if you ain't even made it to the girlfriend part, what you doing spending your money on this man and going half with this man and buying stuff and, and don't don't be going half with this man and y'all not even together. He need to be paying for, he's supposed to be impressing you. He's supposed to be taking you out. He's supposed to be doing stuff for you. So don't be going out, so don't be going all out your way for a man that's not going out his way for you. And especially a man that has not committed himself to you yet. Now, even when y'all do get together, don't go overboard and, you know, be spending too much and stuff like that. But, you know, I get it that at least he your man. So, you know, it's at least better that way. But if he not even your man, then you need to keep your purse to yourself. Leave your wallet at home, matter of fact. You don't even got your wallet when you hang out with this man. You tell this man, we all, I ain't even got my wallet. I left my wallet at home. I ain't even got it. So when that check come, y'all both going to be looking at each other like, hey, <laughs> you know, so don't let no man, you know, seduce you or manipulate you into paying for stuff or giving him sex or cook or cooking and cleaning and breaking your back, giving him back rubs and foot rubs, doing whatever, ripping and running, doing everything for him. And he not even your man. Right. So that's number two. So number three, the third thing that you should never do when it comes to dating or talking to a man is you should not be sweating him. Don't be sweating over him. Don't be tripping over him. Don't be worried about what he got going on. Don't be tripping over who he talking to. Don't be worried about who he following on Instagram. Don't be worried about who picture he liking on Instagram. Don't worry about who picture he liking on Facebook. Don't worry about what he doing and why he not texting back, why he not calling back, why he not texting you as fast as you want him to, why he didn't call you back as fast as you wanted him to, why he just, you know, do what he wanted, stuff like that. You need to understand he not your man. He don't owe you nothing, right? He not your man. So don't be tripping over this man, you know, stressing out. Why you never call me? Why you never text me? Why we never talk? Why this, why that? If he don't call you, he don't text you, obviously he don't want to talk to you. If he want to talk to you, he would, right? If he wanted to, he would. If he don't want to talk to you, then he not. So since he don't want to talk to you, just leave him alone and don't talk to him. Don't be blowing this man phone up, calling, calling, calling. Texting, 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 double text, triple text, whole paragraphs. Talk to me, please. What happened? You know, you panicking. You you so scared to lose this man. You so scared that this man going to leave you. You don't know what happened. You just going crazy. Like, what happened? Why you not talking to me? Why you inconsistent? Why you don't talk to me? If a man, you should never be begging. That sounds like you begging for his attention. He don't owe you nothing. He, you just some girl he talking to. Let's be real. Here go a reality check for a lot of you women. To a man, to a lot of men in the beginning, you just some girl I'm talking to. I don't even know if I even like you or not. You know, maybe I find you attractive. Maybe I want to have sex with you. Maybe I like what you got going on. Maybe I like your body. I like your face. I like what you got going on. But I don't even really know if I really want you like that or not, you know? So it looks like you are begging for this man's attention. Why don't you call me? Why don't you text me? I need you. I gotta have you. This man like, dang, girl, we just met. You already tripping over me like that? You desperate. You thirsty. What you doing with your life that you so desperate and thirsty for a text back? You so desperate and thirsty for a call back? You so desperate and thirsty for, for to get my attention. 
Clearly, if this man don't want you or he not showing you attention, if he not pursuing you, if he not chasing you, he not investing into you, he not trying to take you out, he not trying to do nothing, clearly he don't like you or clearly he don't want you. Clearly, he don't think you worth the investment or he ain't got it to invest, right? So if that's the case, then do not even talk to him. Just chill. Stop sweating him. Stop tripping. Stop going crazy. He not your man. He don't have to text you back. You not his girl. Are you his girl? No, you not his girl. Are you his woman? No, you not his woman. So don't be getting mad when this man don't text you back. If this man don't text you or this man don't call you or this man is inconsistent or he too busy for you or he just act like he don't care. He not putting in effort. He don't want to take you out. He don't want to do nothing or he only wants you for sex. Then just cut him off and move on. Don't be lingering around and stuff like that. Because guess what? Now you worried about what he doing, what he got going on. I know you talking to other girls. It make you look so insecure as a woman, right? I know you talking to other girls. I know you talking to somebody else. You got another girl over there, don't you? You talking to some? I just know it. I just feel it in my gut. I got my women's intuition. I just feel it that you talking to another girl. And he not your man. He ain't claimed you yet. So he technically single and he free to do what he want to do just like you are, right? You free to do what you want to do too. But you get so upset with him. Why you don't call me? Why you don't text me? Please talk to me. You know, I need you. I got to have you. And it looks so desperate. It looks so thirsty. Like you just begging for this man's attention. Like you just begging for this man to be with you and stuff like that. Or you're just insecure. Why you always... Why are you not talking to me? I know you're talking to another girl. I know it's another woman, right? So that looks so insecure. Look how insecure you look as a woman. You look so insecure accusing this man, talking to somebody else. He probably is, and, and he probably is. Just like you should be talking to other guys. Y'all not together, so don't be throwing all your eggs in one basket either. Just like he not, and don't be tripping over what he got going on. He not your man. He can do what he want to do. He not yours? Is he your man? No, y'all just dating. So that go back to number one. Don't just assume that he your man. Don't just assume that you the only one. You probably not the only woman. You probably not the only one trying to be the only one. Especially if he's a handsome guy or he a guy with a lot of money. He a funny guy. He good with the ladies. He dressed nice. He got a nice car. He got a nice body. He, he tall, he, he whatever, you know, he might have, probably do have women that come after him that want him or that he's involved with, right? When you first meet a man and you first start talking to a man, he probably been talking to another girl before he met you. What you think he was doing before he met you? What you think he was doing before y'all got together? What you think... He was doing before he even knew you existed. He had somebody in the picture. He was getting some booty somewhere, right? So if this man was doing something before, he probably is still doing something when he first meets you. And he don't even know y'all just started talking. Y'all just started hanging out. Y'all just started, you know, going on dates and stuff. So he still don't know. He trying to keep his options open, right? So you should automatically just assume that he talking to another woman. He, you, he probably is, but don't sweat it. Don't be accusing him. He not your man to be accusing him. I can see if he your man, then you can accuse him all day. If he your man, he your boyfriend, and he talking to another woman, then he cheating, right? He cheated, and he's wrong. Or if he's your husband and he talking to another woman, then he cheated and he wrong. But if y'all just talking, y'all just dating, he free to do what he want to do. You don't have no say-so. You don't have no boundaries. You don't have no jurisdiction <laughs> over this man to say you don't need to be talking to no other woman because you're not his girl. You're not the only one. And you're probably not the only one trying to be the only one. So... Do not sweat this man over. I know you're talking to another girl because that look like you just insecure, right? 
I know it's another woman. I know you're not talking to me, so you're talking to somebody else. Oh, I know that on Instagram, you just follow some girls on Instagram, and, you know, I saw your like count come go... I saw your followers go up, or I saw a lot of girls liking your picture. I saw you commenting on some pictures, or some girls commenting on your picture, and stuff like that. Don't be telling this man that, because now this man know, oh, you checking for me. Oh, you sweating me. Oh, you bothered. Oh, I get under your skin. Oh, you really, really like me. Oh, you pressed. Oh, you desperate. Oh, it really bothered you. And look how much power I got over you and we just met. I made you this mad and it's only been a few months. It's only been a few weeks. And you already accusing me of stuff and accusing me of dating another girl and talking to another girl. And, and why I don't text you, why I don't call you. Because I don't want to. I'm doing what I want to do. So if this man want to do what he want to do, let him. Just don't let him be in your life. If he want to do what he want to do and he want to be inconsistent and whatever, let him be. And you just date guys that actually want to be with you, right? But don't just assume that you the only one. And don't just be going out your way for a man that ain't made you his girl, okay? Okay, so that's number three. And that rolls us right into number four. So number four, the fourth thing that you should never do when it comes to dating or talking to a man is do not cut off the rest of your options. Never, ever, ever put all your eggs in one basket. Never, ever, ever cut off all the other guys you talking to. You talking to Bobby and Marcus and John and, you know, you talking to Daryl and, you know, you talking to Jamal, you know, you talking to Bradley you know, you talking to, you know, Chad and Charlie. You talking to a whole bunch of guys. You know, you talking to a couple guys, right? And do not cut off all the guys that you've been texting or that's been texting you, all the guys that's DMing you, that's inboxing you online, all the guys that approach you in person. Stop cutting off everybody saying, oh, I got a man, I can't talk to you. You know, a man come approach you, you say, oh, I can't talk to you. Oh, I, no, I'm not interested. Nope, I don't want to talk. Yes, you are. You better tell that man that you, it, yes, take my number. Yes, you still taking applications. Yes, you still going to give your number out. Yes, men still want you. Yes, still go on that date. If another guy asks you to go out on a date, go. Why would you, why, why would you let one guy that's not even your man Hold up the line for the rest of the guys. He holding up the line, wasting your time, holding up the line for the rest of the guys that actually want to be with you. It's a whole bunch of guys that want to be with you, but you wasting your time only trying to date one man at a time. It's so many women that say, I only date one man at a time. That's a horrible thing to do. If you want to maximize the probability of you finding a husband, why would you date one man at a time and waste so many months when you don't got a whole bunch of months to be and a whole bunch of years to be wasting? You need to be maximizing your ability and the chances of you finding a husband. So you need to be dating as many guys as you can handle. If you can date two guys, three guys, four guys, five guys, however many guys, you ain't got to have sex with all of them, but at least if they want to take you out on a date, go. If they want to call you or they want to text you or they want to see you, you know, still entertain them. You're not nobody, girl. You're not tied down to nobody. So I don't care if you are talking to a guy and you really, really like him and stuff like that. Don't cut off everybody else because this guy, you don't even know how it's going to go. He might not even like you. He might not even be with you. And now you just wasted all these other guys, you know, that actually wanted to spend money on you, actually wanted to take you out, actually wanted to be with you, actually wanted to do right by you and treat you right. And you cut off everybody for one guy that's doing you wrong or don't even care nothing about you or acting like you don't even exist, right? So you need to keep your options open just like he keeping his options open. Just like I said, I guarantee this man talking to other women. 
I guarantee he keeping his options open. So why don't you keep your options open? This man, he ain't just committed to you. And you a fool if you think that a man is really going to be exclusive with you. Let's be exclusive. Let's be never be exclusive with you. Never be exclusive with a man. Do not believe a man when he tell you, yeah, we just exclusive. I'm not talking to no other woman. I'm only having sex with you. I'm not talking to no other girl. I'm only talking to you. He lying because guess what? If another girl come around or he probably is talking to another girl right now anyways, you know, he probably is talking to another girl. And or if another girl come around, he gonna dump you anyways because he not with you. Y'all not together, right? So if he gonna keep his options open and still continue to do what he wanna do, then best believe that he doing what he wanna do, right? Then best believe that he doing what he wanna do. So you need to do what you wanna do and keep your options open to maximize your chances of finding love. Don't just date one guy at a time and throw all your eggs in one basket and it don't work out. Now you hurt and heartbroken and now you got to date another guy at a time for a few months and you just wasting time. When you could be dating guys all at a time, multiple men at a time, getting to know different guys. If one guy don't text you back, okay, bye. I don't care. If another guy don't text you back, don't call you, okay, cut off, bye. I'm still talking to two other guys anyways, three other guys, four other guys anyways, you know? So it's easy to cut a man off when you talking to multiple men. But if you only date one man at a time, then if he's your only option, then look how limited you are. If this man do anything, you're you're just going crazy. If this man don't text you back, you're going crazy. You can't eat, can't sleep, you up at night. If this man don't call you, if this man just going crazy, if this man do anything, you going crazy, right? But if you got multiple options and this man don't text you back, you won't even notice. You don't even care. You be like, okay, you don't text me back. Okay, bye, cut off, bye, blocked, delete. I'm talking to other guys anyways, right? So keep your options open. When you talking to a guy and you just dating, if you a single woman, you always keep your options open. You always take applications. You never cut off the application market. You know, if they want to apply for the job, let them apply. Don't just say, oh, no, I'm not looking for no help. I'm not hiring right now. Yes, you are. I'm not hiring right now. But that position not even occupied. He ain't claimed you. He ain't made you his woman. So you reserving a spot for this man that's not even your man. Don't reserve a boyfriend title or boyfriend privileges or your exclusiveness to one man. And he has not exclusively made you his woman and put a title on you. So if a man say, let's be exclusive in the beginning and he ain't made no title don't go for it because he's still having sex with other women. Don't believe him. He's still doing it. He might tell you, I'm not having sex with nobody. We, we only exclusive with each other. We ain't got no title, but I'm only having sex with you and you only having sex with me. He lying because if he gets sex from another woman or another woman offer, he going to take it, right? So keep your options open too, just in case, okay? You got to have your own back. That's just in case for you. Just in case anything happened with this guy, you got backup guys anyways. You don't even care, right? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final thing that you should not do in the talking or dating stage when it comes to a man is do not make him a priority. So don't be making this man no priority in your life. And he just uh and he just dating you, y'all just talking, y'all just in the dating stage, y'all just met, it's only been a few weeks, it's only been a few months. Don't be making this man a priority. Meaning, meaning if you have plans or you got something to do, don't drop everything you gotta do for this man just because this man say, Oh, let's hang out, oh, let's kick it, oh, what you doing? and you was already had something plans, don't cancel your plans or what you had to do. If you had to run some errands or you had something to do or you had something going on, 
Don't cancel your plans for this man. He got to wait. He got to wait till after you done or he got to wait another day, right? Or don't always answer your phone every time this man call you, every time this man want to talk to you. You busy. You not always available when this man get ready. You a busy woman. You know, he got to know that you are a busy woman and that you got a life outside of him. Because if a man, if you are just dating and you just talking to a man and you always available whenever this man want to talk to you, whenever this man want to see you, you texting back too fast, you calling him all the time, or you answer your phone every time, and you're never mysterious, then you will be boring. This man going to feel like you're so boring and you need to have a life outside of him. So this man needs to know that everything don't move on his time. He don't just have, you're not just going to drop everything in your life for him you're not just gonna do everything for him he don't just have your time like that your time is valuable and your time is special right so you want to periodically you know you don't want to be too available you know what i'm saying you don't want to be too predictable you want to be busy sometimes right so when this man call you don't answer every single time sometimes let it ring when this man texts you sometimes don't text him back for a few hours later or don't text it back to the next day, you know? You know? And then sometimes when this man want to see you, say, hey, I can't see you. I'm busy. I got something to do. Maybe another time. Or, hey, I'll get back with you. Hey, maybe we got to do something else. Whatever, right? So you want to make this man... So basically, you want to be a mystery, right? And then when you're a mystery, you become more attractive to a man because he's like, wow, you know, I don't always have her when I want her, which makes him want you more because people want what they can't have. So since he can't have you all the time, now he wants you more because now he want more time with you. He like, I never know when I'm going to take this girl out. She say she busy Friday. Maybe let's see if she'll do something Saturday. Okay, she busy this day. Let me see if she'll do something this day. Okay, she didn't answer this phone call. I wonder what she doing. Is she talking to another guy? Is she interested in somebody else? Is she busy? Does she like me? I don't know. Now he going crazy. And now you making his mom wonder. You making him think about you. And you're making him panic. Like, you know, when am I going to hear from this woman? And now he's chasing you. And that's what keeps the thrill. And that's what keeps the chase. So you want to be a mystery. Don't make him a priority. And, you know, don't be so available for this man whenever he get ready. Right? You want to have a life outside of him. And you still dating other guys. So if another guy want to take you out the same night, hey, whichever one, whichever restaurant is better... <laughs> Or whichever guy you like better, <laughs> whichever one you feeling the most, whichever one you want to go with the most, go to that one. And you can't care about the other one. You know, whichever one feel right. If one guy want to take you off Friday night, another guy want to take you off Friday night, choose whichever one. And the other one just got to wait. The other one can take you out Saturday. Or the other one can take you out next week, next Friday. You can take me out next Friday. You know, this Friday he taking me out. You ain't got to tell him, but this Friday, the other dude taking you out, the other guy, you know, taking you out the other Friday, you know? So just keep it like that, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five things that you should never do when it comes to dating and talking to a man. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me and I'm out of here. So to the next video.